video, we're going to take a look at the integral of x over x plus 2 dx. This is an interesting integral because you have to think a little bit differently. So off the from the start here, you would think like, all right, so my my assumption here is I'm, I'm going to use hopefully substitution like this looks typically like a substitution type problem, but it doesn't work out in a traditional substitution manner, meaning where I set a u equal to something and I take the derivative, that derivative is equal to everything else. It doesn't work out like that, and here's why. So let's go ahead and try that. So I'm gonna set u equal to x plus two, and then that means my du is equal to one dx, because the derivative of x is just one. That's not what I want. I have this as my u right here, that's my u, but what I'd want then is to substitute out with x, but it's not working out like that. So we have to do something a little bit different. We have to strategically move some things. So if I have u equal to x plus two, that's good. How do I substitute out that x? Well, if I look at my original u, u equals x plus two, let me take that statement. I just want a term, I want something in terms of u. So if I subtract two from both sides, I get x is equal to u minus two. Well, look at that. u is equal to x plus two, right here. u is equal to x plus two, so x plus two is out, u is in. x is equal to u minus two, x is out, u minus two is in. dx is equal to du, right here. There it is. I'm now able to do substitution. So it didn't work out in the sense of u, du, and then everything just substitutes out. We had to move things around and be a little bit more strategic about our terms. So let's go ahead and now rewrite this in terms of u. So what is x equals? x equals, let me actually just go down. Uh, x equals u minus two over x plus two was u and then dx was just du right here dx was equal to du so now we just have a pretty straightforward integral because i could just rewrite this as u over u minus two over u du uh, because i'm just taking like fractions if you had like x minus 3 over x, you could take x over x, minus 3 over x, just like that. It's the same idea. Not doing anything fancy there. So then u over u is 1, minus 2 over u du. go ahead and integrate both terms so the integral of one now when we're in terms of u so be careful the integral of one is just u minus and then here's another term you gotta be careful with minus two over u the integral of two over u is going to be two natural log of u The integral of one over u is the natural log of u. So here we have two, because it's two over u. So minus two, natural log of u. Now we just have to put back in our u. u was equal to x plus two right here. So u is equal to x plus two minus two natural log of x plus two. Let's see. All right, and then I think that uh, should be it for that problem. Just trying to look, make sure there's no sort of simplifications that can be made. And yeah, yeah, that's going to be it then. Okay, I just want to just double check that. So yeah, so a tough problem there that it didn't work out in the traditional substitution sense where we have u and then du. We just kind of had to work around that a little bit by creating some terms in terms of u like what is x equals x equals u minus 2 what is x plus 2 equals x plus 2 equals u and so on so a little bit different of a problem there but good 
good uh, good problem to make sure you know how to do. Try to work around that. So good luck.